Hey everyone, here's a question from Sky and Quarrowed. The question is, find the smallest number by which 25,200 should be divided so that the result is perfect square. So this number is not a perfect square. We have to make it perfect square by dividing with the smallest number. Now how to find out the smallest number? So whenever they ask you find the smallest number or the least number to be divided, or sometimes they ask you to find the smallest number to be multiplied. In those cases, you have to do a prime factorization of this given number. So you're going to use a prime factorization method here to factorize this. Now, like I said before, we have to use only prime numbers. So we have 25,200. 25,200 is an even number. So I'm going to start with 2. 2 is a prime number. So we'll get 2 ones are 2. 2 twos are 4. 1 is a remainder that makes a number 12, 2 6 are 12 and followed by these two zeros. Okay, Then the next one again take 2, so 2 6 are 12, 2 3 are 6 and then we have a 0 so just write down the zeros. The next again the number ends with 0 so it goes in 2 table, so 2 3 are 6, 2 1 are 2, 1 is a remainder that makes a number 10, so 2 5 are 10 and then 0. Again, this is an event number, it goes in two table. So two ones are two. One is a remainder, that makes a number eleven. So two fives are ten. One is a remainder. So two sevens are fourteen. One is a remainder, that makes a number ten, and two fives are ten. So this is where I factorize the numbers. If you have any other method, you can follow that, or you can if you don't understand this, so you can just divide the numbers separately and you can write down the answer. Now number ends with five. So we'll check if this number goes in a three table. I think it goes, so 3, 5 is a 15, we have 7, so 3, 2 is a 6, 1 is a remainder, that makes a number 15, so 3, 5 is a 15. Now again, let's try this, like the number ends with 5, so let's try if it goes, uh, so I think this number doesn't go in 5 table, so let's try with the 5 here, so 5 ones are 5, 2 doesn't go, so 5 zero is a 0, and take the number 25 together now. So 5, 5 is a 25. We got 105. So let me write down the number here. So this is a 105. The next one. Okay, so here uh, I have said that this 525 doesn't go in 3 table. It goes in 3 table. I've, I'm sorry, I did. I, I said it doesn't go. It goes, we can even factorize this with 3 here and then you can factorize with 5. Now this 105 goes in 3 table, so I'm going to factorize with 3 here. I missed out here 3, I said like it's, it doesn't go, but it goes. It's uh, I'm sorry for that. But this method is correct, you can still continue. The only thing is you should take only prime numbers. I was trying to make sure that the prime factors comes in a sequence, like in a from smaller to the greater number. It's okay if it doesn't go in a proper way, uh, but the prime, just remember that you use only prime factors. Okay, so we got 105, it goes in 3. 3, 3 is a 9, we got 1, so 3, 5 is a 15. We got 35, it goes in 5 table again. 5, 7 is a 35. And uh, we got 7, so 7, 1 is a 7. So let's rewrite what we got here, all the factors what we got. So this will be, so 25,200 is equal to, write down all the factors, this factors what we got. So this will be 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 into 3 into 5 into 3 into 5 into 7. So here I have written 5 and 5 separately, 3 and 3 separately. I'm going to just rearrange them so that the pairing will be easy for me to do. I'm just rearranging the factors here. So it will be 3 into 3 into 5 into 5. I'm just rearranging them, that's it. Now if the number is a perfect square number, the factors will be in a pair. Like this is forming a one pair, this is forming a one pair, this is one pair and this is one. But 7, you can see 7 is a single factor, it doesn't have any pairing here. Which means this 7, if we remove, like, oh, sorry, if we divide this or if we remove from the 7 from this set, then we can say that this number will become perfect square, right? Perfect square number will gonna have a pairing, proper set, like proper pairing will be there of the factors. This number is not a, pri a perfect square number and that is why we got this 7, extra 7. So the question is smallest number to be divided. 
so if i divide this with 7 on both the side with the the given number and this side then the number will become perfect square this 7 will be removed then we can say this number is perfect square so therefore the smallest number to be divided here will be 7 so let me write down the answer here therefore 7 is the smallest number to be so that's it i hope uh, this question is clear in case you have any other question or doubt you can drop a comment i'll try to make a video on it thank you so much for watching